Hello everyone, this is Kroda giving you a shoutcast in game 1 in a set between Yo I Am Taz versus Apollo's AK game 1 taking place here on Daybreak. AK spawning as the red zerg here at the 7 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we see that um, excuse me, meanwhile, we see that uh, Haz is spawning here as the blue Protoss. Now, this apparently is a best of five series, and based upon the seeding, it looks as though Haz has the upper hand right now with a one to nothing lead in this best of five. Now, you got to remember during the elimination brackets, I believe you also play for a bit of seeding as apparently a little bit of star action going on here down at the natural expansion as the probe just going to be heading back off to the north now this is not what we have typically have seen from the protoss players in the tesl the tesl protoss players have really been favoring that forge uh that, excuse me that mothership core fast expansion as opposed to the forge fast expansion which i believe has will be opening up now Daybreak is a map that is rather small, rather small towards the late game, but rather large during the early portions. The reason why that works out is because of these destructible rocks in the center. With the large walking distances early on, I would not be surprised if we see a Nexus first or a Hatchery first coming in from either of these players. However, has opting to go for a Forge first this time around, and he will be... <laughs> He will be scouting out and perhaps doing a little bit of pylon um, pylon blocking here at the 9 o'clock expansion location. Coming back and taking a look, AK is setting up a spawning pool first. He should be able to handle any um, you know, f um, cannon rushing that may come across the map as the game is now getting underway. So far, what do we see here besides a disappearing hatchery? Not very much. The drone made sure that there was no proxy gateways being placed down as the drone is now going to make its way over here to the natural and be forced to deal with this scouting probe. Apparently, a little bit of heart action coming in from Haz there. Nicely done as Haz um, doing on a, giving on a little bit of a show for his fans. So far, there is that pylon as the probe is now looking to back away. Probe is going to be retreating as the drone is now attempting to take down this pylon. So far, so good. You can see that um, very good saturation back here in the main base. Natural expansion yet to have anything as the Nexus is not up yet. As the pylon does get completed. So has actually completing the pylon here. He will lose out on 100 resources, but will delay this hatchery just a little while longer. Hatchery finally comes into play, and we'll see whether or not AK follows this up with another Hatchery here. So far, units are now making their way out. 16 over 24 workers at the main base. Natural Expansion does have that Photon Cannon with that gateway there, and I do believe a Cybernex Core will be coming down momentarily. Meanwhile, the probe trying to do a little bit more scouting will get one last ditch effort when until he gets on creep. Once he gets on creep, the queens and the zerglings are going to be more than enough as AK protects the fact that he is not yet going for any gas. This is a very strong sign that AK wants to do an economic game, have this game go at least until the 16 to 18 minute mark where he should already have a 200-200 supply count. Now, what can Haz do at this point? He can try and block this. He can try and go for a lot of harassment and perhaps go for oracles or perhaps even some zealot run buys to try and shut down this hatchery zealots perhaps one of the most cost effective units that can run inside a base and take down a fair number of drones they are rather beefy with a fair amount of dps as well as opposed to say trying to um, sneak by a handful of zerglings eight zerglings or four zealots even though it is the same amount of resources Four zealots inside a base just seems that much more scary. Um, now let's, oh, sorry, 16 zerglings. Yeah, actually, no, 16 zerglings is is pretty bad too. All right, a little bit weird on my math there. So 16 zerglings or four zealots. Um, I'm not actually sure which one I would rather have. Both of that could get taken down rather quickly. Um, I'd probably, you know, you know, eight marines is pretty bad as well. You know what? Four zealots, eight marines, 16 zerglings. 
all of those very, very deadly combinations. But we are not going to have any of that yet, as we are going into a Stargate. You know what? That little banter with myself, that would have sounded much better if I had a co-caster going like, What do you mean? Like, I think your math's wrong. And that would have sounded better as opposed to me realizing myself that, um, you know what? Something is wrong with my calculations. Now, taking a look, AK is going to be coming in with these Zerglings. He's going to be heading up the ramp and now taking a look around. So far, the Approve is trying to set up an expansion and won't be able to as there is a good number of Zerglings out. A couple of things I am surprised about... Uh, um, a couple of things I am surprised about right now is that we do not have a Mothership Core. Um, without that Mothership Core, the defense is going to be a little bit more difficult to come by. Um, that does surprise me a bit, and I'm looking to see... Oh, I can't figure out where my settings are to set, that, set the fact that I'm away, so I apologize there. Meanwhile, one Zealot is going to get surrounded here, going to get cleaned up, beautifully done by AK. That nice micro pulling back the lower hit point Zerglings to make sure the Zealot doesn't finish any of them off. So normally, these six Zerglings, at least one if not two of them, could have gone down in that exchange. But no, as we now see Has finally getting on the board, taking out an Overlord, as we're now looking at a fair number of gateways. All right, so heavy gateway now coming in. AK responding with the Roach Warren and Spore Crawler. Spore Crawler to deal with those Phoenixes. Meanwhile, the Roach Warren to help deal with the large number of units that could be warping in halfway across the field. Four gateways. It looks like it is going to be four, six gateways, seven gateways total with... All right, no, four, five, six. Six gateways total with a robotics facility. And this may be a two-base push. Six gate, two-base push here. Taking a look at it, we are seeing that 15 over 24 probes, 16 over 24. The numbers are just right to try and do a very strong push here as the proxy pylon is already set up. Now, the concern I have though is that there is a lot of phoenixes and not a lot of sentries. Without the sentries, the fight is just not going to work out all that well. The spore crawler getting in some easy shots there as the phoenixes now looking to back off. Where are these phoenixes going to travel to and where are they going to go? We can see that there is a lot of zealots now warping in on the far side. And this could try and take down this hatchery. The problem is that there is going to be a number of zerglings here as the zealots are simply walking in here to try and take down some drones. Roaches have arrived as well. A poor queen may get sniped down here, but the roach warren has been completed for quite some time. And the zealots simply are not fast enough compared to all of these roaches on creep. Now the queen does need to back off here. Has to be rather careful. Careful. The queen may get picked up. No, roach is now getting picked up as well as a new round of zealots making their way in. The roaches are getting picked off one at a time. And this is actually good for the zealot follow-up as we're seeing Has doing a great job here taking down roach after roach. The zealots are constantly chasing after those roaches, but the roaches do have a bit of distance on them as the roaches... Um, are still trying to hold themselves off in a very good position. A new round of Zealots now looking to come in. More Roaches coming in here. AK going to have a very large number of units. There's also, I believe, a new Queen now joining in on the field as the Zealots and the drones are just constantly fighting back and forth. There you go. A Hydralis now getting picked up and then poked down. Losses are now higher for the Zerg as AK... Um, now looking to deal with the number of zealots we see on the field as more zealots still making their way in. This is just a relentless wave after wave of zealot and these zealots are really starting to make a dent in the army. However, with Hydralis support now, the Hydralis and their superior range and their faster movement speed on creep should shut down the rest of this zealot harassment. We are now going into Colossus and Extended Thermal Lance range. There is an Immortal, which I may believe is stuck here. Yes, the Immortal is actually stuck. I'm not sure how it's going to get out. Actually, there is enough room right here to sneak its way out along this south side. Sentries are all in position with those force fields, as a couple of Zerglings will get picked up, served up, and then denying sight here at this Zelnaga Tower. Not enough energy for the next Graviton Beam, as we're now seeing Hydralis making their way across the field. The Extended Thermal Lance Range should be Chrono Boosted out. I'm not sure why. Instead, Chrono Boosting out the Colossus. That was strong. 
but still you have a hundred energy on your nexus. Try and make something happen. All right, there you go. Hydra is now being brought over. There is one Colossus there. There is some sentries. The one Immortal is going to be able to handle those roaches, but the Colossus really needs to figure out these sentries. There you go. A beautiful force field splitting off the army. Guardian shield now bringing things up as well, making things rather difficult. Roach is now trying to engage. A second Colossus should be coming in soon as Haz looking to back off here, realizing that this is not a good fight for him. Haz looking to back off. Colossus are still coming in mass. What is going to be the follow-up play? Two Colossi ready to go. Extended Thermal Lance range almost ready, but the timing on this couldn't be any worse. If there was that Chrono Boost, we would be done with that Extended Thermal Lance range. And has realizing a little bit too late that he should have been Chrono Boosting this out for a better engagement. Finally ready and on the field. Will he be able to catch up to those Hydralists? Hydralists are fairly slow right now, and the Phoenixes are going to try and get closer. The Stalkers may be able to pick apart some of these units as well. Are we going to perhaps see a Graviton Beam? No, no Graviton Beam either, as we now see some Proxy Pylons in play, and now some Stalkers warping in. It is now four bases to two. As long as AK can hold off this push, he will be fine. Has thinking that he has the superior army doesn't know that he's currently 50 supply behind. You're going to see that the armies are going to engage in just a bit, but the amount of splash damage between those two Colossus is something to be reckoned with. We are going into a lot of Corruptors, and once the Corruptors cast that Corruption onto those Colossus, that should shut them down rather quickly. I don't see that many Stalkers, only 11 of them right now, and if the Stalkers take their time to focus on Corruptors, the um, the Roaches and all other units will be able to focus them down too quickly. Here you go. Here's a very strong flank. There is a lot of sentries in this group here. Has could close the back door. And there you go. There's the back door closure. And this is a beautiful engagement. The Colossus, however, need to be very careful. They need to back off. They're actually going into the Corruptors. The Corruptors am now going to finish off the last of the Colossus. But much, many of the Roaches and Hydras were already taken down. However, AK is still replenishing the army rather quickly, and you're going to see uh, what 161 versus 83 supply. The Stalkers are able to um, finish off this. I don't know how this is working. There's a 100 or 60 supply discrepancy, and somehow has has the superior army. Let's take a look. Army sizes is larger for the Zerg. He just needs to get his units over there as Corruptor after Corruptor is falling. There you go, a new line of roaches now making their way in. Sentries now being brought forward again. That force field was just so powerful. And AK looking to fend off this attack here. He does have a superior income and superior production. But right now, it still feels like has has the superior upgrades. 1-1 one, one upgrades compared to the 2-0 upgrades only on the range, meaning the Zerglings are not dealing extra damage at all. Stalkers and Zealots ready to go once more. Roaches, Hydralis now looking to push in again. Corruption on a Immortal, but that Immortal already up to 15 kills and growing. You can see that the Hydralis are now trying to push their way through the Immortal being microed back. That's actually some very um, smart play there, making sure that to use the 6 range on that Immortal. All right, this hatchery may fall, and AK is going to be in a little bit of trouble here as the Immortal is going to focus down this one particular hatchery. Roach is coming out a single file line. That is not a good play. More Zerglings coming out as well as the Corruptors, and here comes the engagement. The um, Roach is going to be going straight after that Immortal. The Immortal finally gets taken down, but not before a lot of units were lost. It looks like we are in retreat at some point. AK should be backing off of this engagement. Um, nope, it looks like AK is going to try and finish off the rest of these Zealots. The Corruptor is getting taken down, though. But it doesn't really look like Haz is really replenishing his units all that quickly. You can see that the Roaches are still trying to give chase. Zerglings now making their way over as we are sitting on 2-0 upgrades compared to 1-1. One, one. AK still with the superior bank, but he is down on bases as a zealot have completely cleared out his nat his third base another hatchery will be placed down here drones will be doing some long distance mining roach is clearing up some of the proxy pylons as the colossus is now being replaced so far has now realizing the trouble he is in he doesn't have his third base he was putting everything he had in that last attack and it did not cut out for him 
excuse me, it did not work out for him. And we will see seeing what is happening next as Hydralisk and Roaches are now doing a bit of a push in here. Roaches, Hydro is now doing a, a very strong push here. What is going to be happening next? Colossus now back off over here. We're going to see the engagement. Roaches, Hydralis need to do a bit of an engagement. Is it going to be enough? There's the force field. Hydralis, however, going to be able to get out some shots here as the force field's actually splitting um, things up in a rather unusual way. Probes now getting stuck off to the side here. More Zealots will reinforce and the force field now making it rather difficult for the Zealots to get in range. They are now gone just in time, and AK is somehow, with a 100 supply um, advantage, still not able to capitalize that much. This does not feel like the landslide that most, most 100 supply advantage battles have. The Colossus now going into the very far back field. It looks like it will finish off a bit more. This poor cor or this one Corruptor will get the necessary kill there, as the Stalker trying to finish off the Corruptor is going to go down. Oh, one more shot would have done it. Not quite sure where the follow-up play is here, but AK finally getting enough units. And it looks like the breaking point has finally been reached. The Corruptor is now looking to back off. Roach after Roach now pushing on the far side. And it really felt like AK knew that he could all in with this attack because Haz did not have his third base. No third base, nearly running out of minerals at his natural. His main base has run out of minerals as Apollo's AK takes game one in this series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. Please stay tuned for game two.